hand-drawn, hand-to-hand combat has never been this much fun or as frustrating. However, the devil is truly in the details. So, is Super Punch Patrol that budget brawler you've been waiting for? Or is it just another Streets of Rage wannabe desperate for your wallet? Let's have a deeper look. The art style didn't give it away from the start, Super Punch Patrol is from the same developer as the Gunman Clive series from the Nintendo 3DS. Players assume the roles of one of the three playable characters, each feeling just a bit different. Niles is your all-around brawler, while Selma is gifted with a bit more speed, so she can channel her inner Blaze Fielding. And Anders Punch, the police chief, embodies everything that was Hagger in every sense of the name. The story won't win you over, as there's really none to speak of. The eShop gives an abridged synopsis that sounds no different than any classic beat-em-up. The city is overrun with crime and it's up to Anders and his aptly titled Punch Patrol to clean the city up. To be fair, if you pick up a brawler for the story, you're a better person than most, as you just buy this one for the action. From a control standpoint, Punch Patrol is solid. You have your punch, and I promise that won't be the last time you hear that word. Your jump, and a special. As has been standard for a very long time, your special move comes at a cost of the bit of your life bar, so use it judiciously. Double tapping forward gives you the ability to run into a rush attack, which is essential for escaping the mobs that do their best to surround you in every opportunity. Little touches like Selma being unable to grapple slam the more, shall we say, rotund baddies is a nice touch. Unfortunately though, all that shimmers is truly not gold case of Punch Patrol, the combat, while engaging and fun, is also heavily geared towards the enemies. Often you'll be mid-combo and get interrupted by an enemy that appears from off-screen or even drops in on top of you. This extends to the animations as well. Often you'll finish a slam and be stuck in an animation where you're unable to do anything and will get attacked by an enemy who can take a sizable chunk of your life bar. There were even instances during the third level boss battle where our protagonist was actually juggled on a rock that was tossed, negating any attacks for that life. Frustrating? Absolutely! But it's definitely not a deal breaker. Visually, this is the pen and paper style made famous by Gunman Clive. The sepia tones have been replaced with a black and white level design with your character or characters, if you're playing co-op, being drawn in blue. The magenta-hued enemies are unmistakable, making everything clean and easy to read when fists fly and barrels break. The enemy variety is decent, with some of the enemies in later levels being quite hilarious, until they start slamming you about a la the Hulk when he first met Loki. The bosses are an assortment of oddities, and each possess their own patterns to learn. Level variety is good, but they feel very much the same due to the black and white aesthetic. The streets look the same as the sewers, which look like the club, etc. What's drawn gives it personality, but you'll be hard pressed to find the time to enjoy the details with the enemies constantly bearing down on you. Audio wise, you get your standard fare. The sound effects are well placed and do a good job of conveying the carnage that is being portrayed. The soundtrack, however, is the real star here. Everything about it harkens back to a simpler time of brawlers. While feeling retro, it still comes off fresh and new. The added character moans and groans are a nice touch and show an attention to detail often overlooked by the more expensive titles. Speaking of price, that is the key to every bit of the value here. Super Punch Patrol comes in at $4.99 and is a title that has all the content of a full-fledged offering. While there's no online play, we are given online leaderboards which makes every run a competition against the world as well as the bosses. While the game does suffer from some infuriating old school arcade cheat tactics from the enemies, on the whole this is a solid brawler with limitless replayability if dominating the leaderboards is your type of thing. I mean, they added in extra costumes for everybody as well, so there's always something to go and unlock. Thanks for checking out Two Beard Gaming. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime we've got new content dropping. Also, be sure to check out the website, twobeardgaming.com, where we've got new content dropping every single day. Till next time, this is TF Banana. Peace.